Question 10. What is world mode? Answer. Generally a wireless client can operate only in its local regulatory domain as channel and power settings carry for each domain. When world mode is used, a client can automatically adjust channel and power settings according to the domain it migrates to. For example, if a user travels from the United States to Japan a client card that implements world mode can automatically adjust its channel and power settings as per the Japan domain. The access point AP should also support world mode for this to work. The Cisco client card and AP support world mode. Question 11. Are the VLON cards safe to use from a health perspective since they use microwave frequencies? Answer. The VLON devices are safe when used under normal operating conditions as stated in the user manuals. The power levels are below the power level of a typical microwave oven. The radio modules were tested by independent test labs in accordance with various recognized standards. The levels measured when the PCMCIA antenna was 1 cm away from the user were recorded at 10 to 12% of the maximum level allowed. Question 12. The FCC limits the maximum system power to 4 watts effective isotropic ally radiated power yay, up, for non-point-to-point -point systems. However, a properly tested and certified system is allowed to exceed the 4 watt yay up for a point-to-point -point system. I have two parabolic dishes aimed at an omni. Can I exceed the 4 watt yay up limit if I consider each leg point-to-point? -point? Answer, no. The FCC defines the system that uses directional gain antennas as only part of the complete system. You cannot exceed the 4 watts A up for any of the legs of this system since the whole system is a point to multi point. This topic is defined in FCC docket 96 to 8, which covers the spread spectrum transmitter. Question 13. My VLON system sees radio frequency interference Rafi, or electromagnetic interference Amy, from another device. What can I do? Answer. Relocate the Cisco AirNet equipment as far away as practical from potential sources of Amy slash RFI or reorient the point-to-point -point antennas away from the RFI slash Amy emitter. Use a different frequency range for the phone and VLON. It is suggested that you perform a site survey before you install a VLON. In site survey you can detect all kinds of interference sources. This includes non-802.11 sources such as microwave ovens, cordless phones, etc. You can collect information on key parameters such as signal strength, noise, and data rates that exist in the actual deployment scenario. Based on this, VLONs can be planned and deployed accordingly. Question 14. Would the frequency hopping FH equipment of another vendor that sits next to our direct sequence B's equipment have any negative effect? Answer. Yes. By its very nature, an FH product hops across the entire 2.4 frequency band. Therefore, it causes interference to VLON 802.11 BG products that operate in 2.4 GHz. There is no way to control where an FH unit hops. Try one or all of these steps. Oh, Change the location of the access point and or the base of the cordless phone or switch to channel 1 on the access point. If that does not work, try channel 11 or use a remote antenna on the client card if it is a PCI or ESHA based card and you have that option or operate the phone with the antenna lowered if that is an option or if all else fails, use a 900MHz phone instead of a 2.4GHz phone. Question 15. What antenna should I use for the Cisco AirNet 1010 access point? Answer. This device has a built-in antenna. You do not need to connect an antenna. The Cisco AirNet antenna reference guide has all the information about the different types of antennas and accessories that Cisco provides as a part of the Cisco VLON solution. Question 16. Where should I install my access point? Answer. The collocation of an access point depends on the nature of the physical place where you need wireless RAM coverage. It also depends on the type of facility warehouse, office, conference room, home, and so forth. The materials used in the physical place have an important role. Cisco strongly recommends performing a site survey before any access point is placed. Question 17. Does Cisco provide any management software or a device to manage multiple access points? Apes. Answer. Yes. Cisco provides a management device known as Wireless RAN Solution Engine ELSE, to manage multiple APs. You can push configurations and upgrade firmware simultaneously for multiple APs. The radio environment in which the APs operate can be monitored and controlled by the WISE by periodically collecting RF information from the APs. 
Question 18. What is dynamic transmit power control DTPC and how does it work? Answer. DTPC is a beacon and probe information element that allows the access point to broadcast its transmit power. Clients can use this information to automatically configure themselves to that power while associated with that access point. In this manner, both devices transmit at the same level. The Cisco Wireless IP Phone 7920 automatically adjusts its transmit power to the same level as the access point to which it is associated. Question 19. What is the difference between 802.3 bridging and 802.11 bridging? Answer. A bridge is a device that connects two or more networks. The bridges can be separated with the media type they are connected with. If two wired networks are bridged together, then these are called 802.3 bridging while those which bridges the wireless network with the wired network are called 802.11 bridges. 802.3 frames differs in format and length that those of 802.11 frames. In order to communicate between them, there should be a translation of frame from one format to another. Translation is usually done by the access point. Question 20. If I wish to install antenna at some distance from an access point app, which extension cable do I need between the app and the antenna? Answer. There are two types of cable supplied by Cisco for mounting the antenna away from the radio unit LMR 600 type cable and LMR 400 type cables. These are low loss cables designed for better efficiency.